way. We hopefully win the toss and get the choice, but they decided to do it, and they wanted to wait. But we do uh, come out here, and, and this is a big third down play to Barry Foster. Another new formation, you can't always tell all the different uh, variety of formations we have with motion. You see we only have one back remaining in the backfield. This is planned. This is what our offensive philosophy is. And watch Quinn. He gets a lot of pressure on key third down and nine. And if he just was fast enough, he'd just run little old legs, run as fast as they can, but they uh, run out of speed. Maybe one day he'll go all the way. But uh, we do get a good drive going, and here we get a good counter. Look at James go through the hole and lower his shoulders, get in the end zone. Uh, for the, the, really, he's the second all-time leading uh, uh, point production man, not including our, our kickers, only behind Bill Burnett in touchdown productions, Jerry. James had another great game last night, too. He had a great game. Then they come back, we told him right away, David's going to come with a trick play, Aaron and, and Michael James. And I said, what's it going to be? And I said, it's going to be off some kind of play action. So they came right away with the uh, little flea flicker there of hand the ball off and throw it back to Gasser. The thing this game, you'll see, we get 11 sacks. That's phenomenal against the team and as strong arm as their quarterback is. We got several plays in here showing them completing the passes and doing some things because really they they do a great job and they can move the football and they throw it. They didn't have a lot of running game and we thought that would limit them some. Another great blocking by our line and James comes out right here is a big point. James tried to stay in bounds and tried to, uh, at times, we're going to need to do that when we're running the clock out. Cut the he ball showed the great field. poise and showed like he really had learned something, and that was important to us. Jimmy Williams in a quarterback now for Quinn Grover. You got the play, as you said, a lot of people last Tremendous night. play right there. Tim Horton, uh, I mean, running by the cornerback and, and turning his body and getting the ball. Harold and Betty were there. UCA didn't play, so Tim's mom and dad were able to see the game, and we were hoping to be able to do a couple of things with him in there. Ron Dickerson, young freshman from Pennsylvania, comes in there and makes a good run the first time. James shook up just for a minute. We've got good quality depth. Here's our offensive line, and, and this is just a fundamental. Football. Jimmy had taken us from our own. We didn't do. So UTEP has the ball back, and once again, their quarterback's in trouble. He sure is. We had to hold on too long. Uh, Mick Ta Thomas and uh, his linebacker doing a good job pass, allowing Mike Shepard to get in there and make the tackle. And look at the place. Get in and get in and get in. Chad Rowland coming in. Great play by our defensive we line. Play 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 we have our whole second defensive line. Here's a pass we knew would be open. And watch Jimmy drill this in here to Billy Winston. Go, Billy. He makes a good move there. Ron tries to get a block. And look at Billy. Boy, legging Please in there about Billy. three yards. Nine that. receivers caught the ball for us the other day. Good block. And look at the hole again. Good gracious. We're getting all the way down to the second level, secondary level with our backs. That's when you make one guy miss you and you got a touchdown. Right here, James, nobody blocks the linebacker, but he does a good limp leg and gets in the end zone. Two touchdowns. One -on -one situation and, uh, like this. It's a shame the only touchdown we give up that they got to get a, a really a pass interference call. They call that pass interference, and, uh, oh, I think that, you know, if they had a chance to look that over, they might uh, reverse their call. But anyway, they do make it, and... And right here, Bubba, Bubba, Bubba. Bubba does a good job by Gasser getting in. And whoever we plays, trying to we keep them to be able to do better than that. And that. That's the only thing that disappointed me, I thought, defensively. Here's the option play and another pitch to James. Look at here. Good block by Cedric Fillmore. And James makes a good cut on that wet turf. It did not seem to be a factor in the ball game. And watch Quinn. He's out here running. Barry gets a good good move on, a good block. Up He's here. out and going to uh, some points on the board. And we're getting great snapping from Darren Worrell and Gary Adams and, and Todd Ryden. <coughs> Yesterday, the Arkansas Razorbacks tied an NCAA record, Jerry. 30 field goals in a row dating back to last year's Ole Miss ball game. That does not count the one that uh, doesn't count the, one the ball game. Ball. But this is strictly the NCAA. It ties a record of 30 in a row set back in 1980, 81, 82. Great pressure. It's the way to go, Chad Rowland. Super pressure in there. We force him to kick it out this time. And watch little Timmy. Whoops, bounces one off the ground just to set the return up and then hits it up north and south. Go, Timmy, go. Right there, he's got him back up. Little... Now we're going in there playing. Here's Quinn throwing the ball to Timmy again. So he's, uh, this is Timmy, Timmy Horton highlight here. Betty, I hope you take this now and make a copy of this and you keep it. You came the game and hurl. But anyway, he, he's done a terrific job for us. Good blocking inside and Juju ought to score it on this one. Don't run where they are, Juju. Run where those guys aren't. Rodney, you got to get you a good block down there. We need you. This was a disappointing thing of anything. If I, I was really disappointed. It's when we got down there and we're reading our triple option. We don't do a very good job here. 
of, of just our, our fundamentals. I was really disappointed in this, that uh, the things that we have spent, nobody spends more time on our option than we do, Jerry. That's phenomenal. I was really you get disappointed. Eleven sacks in one ball game, and uh, five of them from one man, Scotty Long, anyway. Tony Allison coming in there. Uh, running a lot really, of running, uh, flexible, uh, running, shooting, some things we're going to see. We need a that kind of pass rush. Watch here. Quinn steps up in the pocket, drills the ball to Tim Horton. Tim has three big catches during the game, one big punt return. And uh, had a great day and, and handled the punts, too, till Michael James got in the last two or three. But we've got a good drive. We've got the ball moving down the field. Here's Mark Henry pulling out, a little bootleg pass. Hits the ball to Barry Foster. Look at Barry. The biggest thing we look for in a great back is how much yardage you can make after you get, uh, get hit the first time. Todd Wright kicking another field goal on the string, on the way to the string. That's three uh, points, which we would like, and he got three, and he'll get one more later on. But the thing you don't see, we kicked off well. Glenn Ray Hines came in there and kicked off well and got him behind the 20-yard line. Look at the pursuit. Uh, Anthony Cooney in there. Ty Mason, the Decatur, Illinois flash. Good job. Watch this. This is reverse. They put the formation in the boundary, try to get a suck in there in the short corner, and watch Michael James come back out there. Everybody's chasing. There's Scotty. Michael James gets him, and they lose yardage on the reverse. Two big plays there. We sacked him for a big loss. We threw him for a loss on the reverse. Now we got pressure on him. Get him again. Good job. Three plays in a good row. Footballs, good rolls on them, and we had good protection. Watch Quinn just get this ball off a critical. Ron Dicker signed up two or three Young places, and we do that with our tailbacks. And we come right back here on the option play, a good pitch, and here's Ron again turning on. And going down, get out of the way. Somebody on the ground right there. Derek Russell. Get off the ground, Derek. We need you this week. And there's Todd drilling the ball through with a great protection hole, tying the NCAA record uh, that was set back in 1981-82 by one kicker. We've got two sets of kickers, two holders, and two everything. Here's a single back, Ron Dickerson again, that we've moved the full back out, and we're uh, still getting great blocking inside there. Todd Gifford uh, doing a great job. Reggie Trusty played the whole second half just about. And John Tremble. Uh, Matt Pittner's in there to guard. Look at old Jason Brandt. Stretched out all that five foot two inch frame. That's not true. He's at least five foot eight and a half anyway. Great catch by Jason who's gone over and performed a new mission and function for us. Come back with a misdirection and Juju gets in the end zone. Couldn't be prouder of uh, just the drive and Jimmy Williams getting as much play time in as he can. Great pressure and pursuit. Mackenzie Phillips. They did a great special yesterday too, Jerry, on ESPN about Mackenzie and Arkansas. And we're really proud of him and, and glad he's a fighting Razorback. Look Speak, at the pressure. He speaking of Mackenzie, right there back. he goes. Out of way, Big Mac attack. And that's just not a hamburger. That's a big player yeah. here. But we're going to see them check off and run one of their favorite pass patterns and watch old Pat Burris. Great job, Pat. Great position. Pat from South Carolina. We just got him this summer. He's got another year for us. We've been playing on our, our punting teams. Boy, we're proud of him and, and just glad. That's the plays he makes. He has great hands. And then look at the pressure coming with everybody. Great job. We got pressure on him. Everybody's hitting. McKenzie's in there and Randy Russell and Scotty and Owen Kelly. All those guys uh, are doing a super job. Here we have uh, Chris Hunter playing at the backer position, a senior from Arkadelphia. They try to go down the middle, we get a good break on the ball. Kirk Collins, I think, comes over and makes a heck of a uh, play on it. We're showing a lot of this because we got several new defensive people playing. They come right back and wanted to show you Curtis Banks, a cornerback we got, who's done a great job out of Dallas, Texas, and Curtis plays the ball well. So we get two big turnovers here in this quarter, Jerry, with two big interceptions, and. Uh, Although it doesn't put us in good field position with him, it keeps him out of the end zone. And you've got a new young man at quarterback. We have peanuts in there, Gary Adams from Springfield, Missouri. We also have Barry Foster lining up at tailback now. E.D. Jackson is out of the ball game, and we just decide not to play him, get, let him be completely well next week. Uh, James has already played in the ball game. Uh, Dickerson, Ron Dickerson. And now we get a good uh, pass from Gary down to Rodney Winston, another Mariana Flash. Three guys have done so well for Mariana playing for us. James McCoy, the defensive end, Billy and Rodney. And look at this play by Gary. That, they blitz the linebacker and they pay for it because they've got no pursuit. And Gary comes up with a big, big play. Kerwin Price is in at tailback this time, and Kerwin's been injured and had not much practice time. Good play here on the option. Duck the shoulder, Kerwin. He makes a good nine, eight or nine yards. 
He's the one that started in our very first game, Jerry, against Tulsa uh, three weeks ago. But he's had his ankle injury, but we're hoping all of them will be back well. Now watch this play. Way to go, Gary. Good, gracious, great play. Johnny Brooks had had a block. Fred McGill from Sulphur Springs, who's been on a JV team, everything, to this week. We had some injuries. 93, 58, have a shot at Gary. Comes back, spins out. Here he comes. Somebody's going to hit him. He's going to get him on the ground. No. John Stuckey pulling the sled is too much for him. He comes down. Great job. Fred's going to leave him in the end zone, and Gary is really running. This has got to be a real rush for a young man like this to be able to score a touchdown on uh, that yeah. kind of a run. It is. No Carletto beat Wild, his mama. And uh, here we get a good kickoff from Glenn Ray Hines. We had four great kickoffs from Glenn and Rob Bonneau from Spokane, Washington. Ronnie Marlowe, good job. Wills Point, Texas in there. And uh, we're getting a great rush. Get him here. Watch old Randy. Randy Russell, a young man that's from Germany. We recruited him out of Germany. That's my territory. Germany and Hawaii are my territory. But he's done a great job. And, and we moved him to an end position where he was a linebacker. And look at Owen. Attaway Owen towering over him there at that five foot seven inch frame. A good job here by Gary scrambling out and uh, hitting Lindy Lindsay. Lindy had the big catch, you know, last week in the old Miss ball game. Young man from Federal High School has done quite well. We win. And we're going to come back to